Ever heard of a Flash game making it big and becoming a fully published multi-platform franchise? Well, now you will with this episode of Forgotten Internet, and it's all about Yeti Sports. If you've never heard of Yeti Sports, it started off as one small 2D Flash game where you had to club a penguin as far as you could to get a high score, and as time went on, it gradually became a huge success and it gradually became more and more games and ended up basically being a compilation of multiple Flash games. Currently there are 10 Yeti Sports Flash games which you can still access on their website, but originally, within the first year, there was only a few available. This year being 2004, and in January of that year, an Austrian studio, Edelweiss, which was later known as the defunct Route 9 Media, published the first Yeti Sports game. Its creator, Chris Hilger saw a rapid popularity growth in his game across the internet, and because of this popularity, he took no time in following it up with successor games. This original Yeti Sports Pingu Throw game, including the sequels, would soon be ported to mobile, PSP, iOS and Android later down the line, with multiple HD remakes still available on the Android and iOS marketplaces. But this wasn't the first time, or the last time, the Flash Yeti Sports games made their way onto other systems, or even consoles. The first Yeti Sports games were compiled into a CD-ROM and published to PC that year due to its success, and I happen to own them, because why not? This package was called Yeti Sports Deluxe, and it wouldn't just go to CD-ROM, it would also be ported over to... the PlayStation 1? Hold on. It's the year 2004 and the company decided to port it to PlayStation 1. Crazy. Not only that, but even later in 2005, Yeti Sports had another release on PlayStation 1 and a Yeti Sports World Tour, which included a few more Yeti Sports titles and was one of the final games to be published to the PlayStation 1 officially, before it got discontinued by Sony. This title was also published to PC in certain parts of Europe. The Yeti Sports game had its own hit single, Yeti Song which was published with a music video and then published to a CD with multiple remixes. This CD included Yeti Sports 1 to 3 as a bonus if you put it in your PC. I'd play you the song but apparently it's heavily copyrighted on YouTube and would probably strike my channel so I'm not going to risk it. You can listen to it on Spotify. Chris Hilgert kept making his Yeti Sports games in 2005 and alongside this his studio published Yeti Sports Arctic Adventures which was a 3D iToy only game for the PlayStation 2. And although I've never played this version, I don't think it was very good from what I've seen, and the reviews when it came out that year aren't very good either. And there's no surprise there, because the iToy, like most gaming most room capture peripherals, was fiddly and temperamental. The Yeti Sports games would later on evolve past Flash, and make their main full jump to mobile games, and would continue being remade and ported multiple times to Android and iOS. And in 2010, a Wii game was published in Germany, which featured a new 3D art style, 9 exclusive minigames, and a multiplayer mode. And honestly, I don't think anyone knew about this, which is no surprise as it was 5 years after the main game had debuted. And this was five years after the peak of its popularity. But apart from that, outside mobile games, that would be it for Yeti Sports. The fact that Yeti Sports on Wii was only released in Germany says to me that it wasn't keeping the worldwide success that the studio had hoped for. And the fact that the studio shut down a few years later really tells us that popular Flash games had come and gone well after the publication of the Wii game. What do you guys think about Yeti Sports? Did you play any of them? Let me know. Thank you all for watching. What should the next episode of Forgotten Internet be? Let me know. See you next time.